Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to connect AI10 to Notion and why it will make you much more productive. So here is my simple personal AI assistant that is already connected to the Telegram so we can chat with it. And here is my database inside Notion where I'm tracking all of my workouts. I like to track my progress. I like to stay organized. And now I can simply send a voice message saying I just finished my 60 minute bodyweight workout. I did 30 minutes on the treadmill and then I did 10 sets of 20 reps pushups. So I've just sent this message. Now the system is processing it, it's finished, and as you can see, the workout was just added to the database and it got all the details correctly. It's a bodyweight treadmill workout, we have two exercises, we have the duration and the right date. And here is another page in my Notion where I have all of the latest AI news and trends that are relevant to me and they're coming here every single morning at 6 a.m. And it's being done by this workflow, so I have the data scraping. And then finally, we save all that to Notion once again. So let's dive in. And as always, the template will be available for free in the description down below. And if you like this type of content, subscribe to my channel. So let's begin by connecting Notion to our NA10. First of all, you have to go to the notion.com. So I am using Notion inside my desktop app, but you have to open it inside the browser. Here it is. Then you press login and you need to be logged in into your account. Here's my account. And then on the left side, we have to press on the settings. And then in the settings, we go to connections. And then in connections, we have to press develop or manage integrations right here. Once you press in here, then you see that I already have my Anitan integration, but you have to press plus. And here, let's call it something like Anitan demo, associated workspace. You have to select your own workspace and let's select as type internal then we press save and then uh, we go here and then you have your secret so basically you need to copy it then you go back to any 10 and uh, in any any 10 notion node you just open it up and then in the credential section you press create new credential right here and you paste your secret right here press save and then your connection is ready to work you can actually send queries to your notion workspace and uh, it will be able to have access to all of the pages inside the workspace and now let's learn how to write something on a single notion page so here i have a page it's called ideas and it's just bullet lists so it's not a database a simple plain text page now let's learn how to do that so for that we need to use an append a block node it was kind of counterintuitive to me at first when i was getting started with this notion integration it was very clear how to connect to a database but not how to write the plain text pages so now i will explain to you how it works you open this node and here you select the right credential and as a resource you have to select block so then you have to select append after because we want to write text at the end of this page. I was also trying to write text at the beginning of the page. And as I know right now, there is no way to do that. It's not convenient, but it is what it is. And here in the blocks, we can add any sort of block. We can add the content. So here, as, I, as you see, I'm selecting heading three, and then I will just call it the current date. And then I'm adding an, a bullet item. And here's the text of this bullet item. So if you want to add another block, you press add a block. And here you can also select any sort of text. It can be just a paragraph. It can be a toggle, a numbered list item, whatever you want to use. So let's remove it for now and let's run this simple part of the script. So it's just finished. And as you can see here, we got this heading three and then the bullet item. And to be honest, some of you might have a question of why to use Notion in the first place. But in my opinion, this is a super app. It's like a notes on steroids. So I have so many different pages for every part of my life. Everything is organized, structured. You have the databases, you have the embedded folders. So it is super convenient. And I'm actually managing my whole life here in this app. And now let's learn how to write to a database. So here I have the database on the left side. It's a simple example. We have just a name and a deadline inside it. And now we're just creating this node and you have to select database page as a resource and you have to select operation create and you have to select the right database that you want to use so i'm selecting to-do list and here you have the title so title is the first field of the database record and then you can select other fields if you want but for me it's just fine right now 
So this will be a task that we want to add and let's run it real quick. And as you can see, this item was added to the database without a deadline. We can select it right here. Let's say it's a next week event to do something useful. And by the way, if you're not familiar with databases inside Notion, it is easy to create. So you just press slash and here you select the database and then bam, the new page was created. Let's call it demo and you can rename your properties. You can add uh, items here and then you can go back and here you have this page. And finally, let's go over the personal AI assistant that is connected to Notion. It is also pretty simple. So first of all, we have a Telegram message connection. You can find other tutorials on YouTube on how to do that. It's pretty straightforward. But today I'm focusing on Notion specifically. So here we're receiving a message. Here we're just getting a file with a voice message. So if you want to uh, support text messages, you have to add a couple more notes. It's also straightforward. But then we're just transcribing this file. So we're getting text out of our voice message. So here is a simple OpenAI node, just transcribing a file and connecting to our OpenAI account. And then we're going to our AI agent. So in this case, I connected it to three different options inside Notion. So we can save a workout as I've shown to you at the beginning, or we can save an idea. So this will go right here as a plain text or we can save a task and it will go right here in this database. If you like to use this template for free, use the first link in the description down below. It will lead to my school community. It is free. Just join it and you will see it right here. You will just need to copy the template in terms of the JSON file and then you'll just paste it right here on the right side using import from file and you will have this workflow ready to go. And if you like this video, check out another one where I built an AI system trained on all of the knowledge from Alex Hermosi so you can chat with it and get high quality business advice.